So today I'm going to show you how my battery, um, my internal frame battery comes out of my A2B Metro. I'm going to um, <clears throat> remove the two stop screws. Um, one keeps my battery trolley from sliding out of the tube while I'm riding, which would be bad. Um, it's just right here. And then this one right here keeps the battery from flopping around inside the tube. The batteries are mounted to an aluminum plate about two feet long. Um, you'll see it in just a moment. <clears throat> the screw doesn't want to come out. So now I've unplugged the battery, I've taken the two stop screws out, yes. pulled the battery pack out, you can see this is the battery pack, I have two of these big frame batteries um, mounted to just a piece of aluminum stock that I bought at Home Depot. And I put a little bend in it right at the end to keep everything from sliding downward. I lined the aluminum with Velcro and then just Velcroed the heck out of it together to, uh, and then put an extender wire on this battery to bring the wire out down the bottom of the tube. So this is my battery, what I call a battery trolley. Um, it's been in there for a month and a half. Uh, and I see no signs whatsoever of any sort of worrisome wear. Um, I put enough Velcro on it to make it slide in and, in and out of the tube very easily. But as you see, it doesn't really require much maintenance. I don't see any rubs anywhere. But this is a good way to get, um, you know, 10 amp or 11 amp hours of batteries inside your frame of, you know, RC LiPos. Um, some people might not like to put lipos inside of a frame, but so far these batteries have been super stable and I haven't had any problem with balance, so I have no problem with putting them inside the tube. So I'm going to show you the insertion process once more before we go. We just put it right here. Actually, backwards. <laughs> Funny. I put a curve in the aluminum bar to make it work, you know, to make it match the curve in the frame. So you just go all the way inside there, like that, and Reinsert this bolt. And then the stop screw for the trolley goes right in here. And if you have an A2B Metro and you want to switch to LiPo power, RC LiPo power, this is one way to do it. So that was it for today and I hope you enjoyed it.